here's the starter kit for 96 boards. So, uh, what are you showing here? All right. So, what um, one of the things that's been great about the 96 boards program is it gets the 96 boards, the ARM 64, 64 bit hardware out into the hands of developers. Uh, but what becomes really interesting with these boards is not just that we've got high performance ARM hardware, but that we have the expansion connectors. That there's an opportunity for developers to hook these up and make new products or build new uh, new devices using uh, a high performance processor at the same time having uh, I/O to various devices. So what I have here, part of what I've been doing, is trying to develop a hardware ecosystem so that people can take uh, take a 96 board, design some extra hardware, and hook it all up. Uh, and I started with this. I'm a software engineer, and yet I got into hardware. So we have op fully open source tools for doing hardware design. This is the UART adapter, which, this is a very simple board, and this was just to solve the problem of getting serial console access to any 96 board, but at the same time offers remote control over power and reset on that board. So that was a simple design. That's available for purchase right now from Seed Studio. If you go to the Seed Studio website, you can find that board. It's called the 96 Boards UART. And the other board that we worked on, and this one was a lot of fun, is the 96 Board Sensors platform. And this board provides, it hooks up to the low speed I.O. It has level shifters for I.O. directly to the 96 Board's baseboard, but it also has an Atmel coprocessor with Grove connectors to hook up to uh, various sensors using GPIO or I2C, and you can run, use the Ardu Arduino IDE to program the uh, Atmel on this board and use any existing Arduino sketch. Anything compatible with the Arduino Uno will run on this board. So in the kit, there could be a whole bunch of sensors? So the kit that we put together, which we gave away at Connect, and we're hoping to uh, make these available for purchase from Seed as well, is it provides a set of uh, devices that are easily hooked up to the board. So, for example, this is an LCD panel. And with the uh, Grove cables, it becomes very simple to prototype a product right. by hooking into a Grove connector. And onto the device. The Grove connectors and system is very flexible, even though it's very simple. It has, it's a single cable with power, ground, and two data lines, so it's sufficient for I2C or for GPIO, and there are a lot of small devices, modules, that you can hook up to to make a useful device without having to, to do a lot of work. What are all these different uh, things there? Uh, included in the kit, with this particular kit, we have uh, a buzzer, we have um, uh, an accelerometer, a touch sensor, uh, a light sensor, LED, potentiometer, sound sensor, uh, and uh, temperature sensor, and then a relay. Okay. And, the, nice. the, and that is the sonic screwdriver. But the sonic screwdriver that's here is actually already on the board, so it's, it doesn't come with that in the kit. All right. And that is the 96 Sports UART and the 96 Sports Sonic or 96 Sports sensor kit. Nice. And you were saying something like uh, on the way over here in the airplane, you 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 were able to do something. What what, what were you doing? <laughs> okay. So this is brand new. This was a giveaway that we did at Connect. We made a hundred of these boards. Uh, I had one of them, and I had to put together a demo for Monday morning. On the plane on the way over here, I started coding some Arduino code to be able to hook up to the LCD to a couple of displays and hook it up to the baseboard to be able to get statistics from Linux out onto these sensors and also pull in uh, data from the various devices. So this is it. Uh, Linara is moving into the IoT world, uh, Internet of Things, the, the, like lots of new stuff is going to happen with Linara. Well, uh, we are moving into a, a, an IoT group. We have a, or an embedded group that we're calling Light. The important thing here, though, is that, Lenaro, we're not a hardware company. Our purpose is to enable the ecosystem. The reason that we are doing this is this is part of enabling the ecosystem. It makes it possible to put designs out there, 
kickstart other companies who want to build new products. And so we do this to put the designs out there. All of this is open hardware and anyone can take that and build what they need. Nice, it's going to be really interesting, the 96 boards, Yes. it's going to be huge. Yes. Much to come.